the nice little Canadian. Don't matter how poor that girl she may be, her dress is so neat and so clean. Most everyone think it was Mac on Paris, and she wear it well, just like the queen. Oh, she's quick and she's smart, and she got plenty of heart, if you know correct way to go about. And if you don't know, she soon told you so, and then take the first chance and get out. But if she love you, and I speak it for true, she will make it more beautiful then, and sun on the sky can't shine like the eye of that nice little Canadian. Hi everybody, it's Agence Canada, and this is Thrift Hall number 14. I hope you guys are all well, and that was an excerpt of um, The Habitant, which was published in 1897, a 114-year-old book. Um, so today's Thrift Hall, we're going to be looking at some old duck decoys. I got some really cool cups here. I have my book. I have an old whiskey bottle. I have this really nice suitcase that I just got. And I just recently inherited my uh, Pepper's ring. So come along for the ride. I'm excited to get thrifting with you guys. So here in Ontario, we're in a third state of emergency with a um, stay-at-home order, which means that all non-essential retail is closed um, and a whole bunch of other things are closed. So that means for the next four weeks, a lot of us Ontarians are going to be at home. And I know that's going to be very hard for a lot of you. If you're feeling down, please just remember to reach out to the people that love you and that those people probably actually would appreciate it because a lot of people need to feel that they're needed right now. That being said, you're so loved. On a more upbeat note, a lot of you guys are gardeners out there and really enjoyed my video last week. So if you stick around, I actually have some peas to plant. I attempted it last week. And I went to go put my shovel in the ground and it was completely frozen. So I did test it this time. So we will be able to plant today because it's a beautiful plus 26 degrees Celsius. Let's get started. You guys, I'm so thrilled that I'm able to share today's findings basked in this beautiful natural light. So there I had my duck decoys. I have my beautiful cups, my Habitant book, this vintage whiskey jug, and this beautiful old made in England suitcase. Now on this suitcase, the suitcase is actually all made of metal. The brackets are all brass and that handle is leather. It has some cool patent pending marks made in England on it. The Habitant and Other French Canadian Poems. This book was published in 1897 and is written in the most absolutely beautiful prose. This is an East Coast um, duck decoy that represents the female mallard stained in this beautiful brown. This is a more um, like handmade piece for sure, because it's a little rough around the edges, but this decoy represents the male mallard, which has the more um, flashy plumage. Now these are Dutch scenes, but this was made in Japan. I love the crackling on the glaze, and I love that the edge of the cup is dyed blue. This is my Pepper's ring. Um, I didn't have a super close relationship with him in the end, but my uh, grandma made sure that I got this ring because she knows I'm obsessed with jewelry. All right, you guys, we're gonna be planting some peas. Oh, it's so windy out here. I hope the voice is okay. But uh, yeah, we got some uh, peas that I sprouted a few weeks back. I got a nice big watering can full of water. We got my shovel. Vintage, of course. We got Cooper for moral support. I have a measuring tape and I have the seed packet. So let's get planting. I'm first gonna start by digging a trench all along the trellis that I installed last week. Now that I've dug the trench, I'm going to lay down my measuring tape along the side of the hole so that we can space out the seedlings um, according to the package instructions.
Now that the peas are all planted up and in their new home in the garden, um, I'm going to give them a quick water and uh, we will call it a day. I hope you liked today's video and we'll see you guys later. Bye.